Now I've got a Boston gear pinion gear on here, a 32 pitch gear. And it also happens to have 32 teeth and I've tightened that onto the flat spot with a set screw. I'll run this up to about maybe 10 volts. And again, I'm just going to hand hold a mating gear. This is an aluminum spur gear. It's 32 pitch. So I'll just hand hold that there and then show you the connection. You can't beat these gear motors for power transmission or making some sort of a reduction or moving parts as long as you don't need a whole lot of power. Again, these are just uh, fractional horsepower, but you do get tons of torque. Again, if this were mounted up with a ball bearing through the other side of this plate and I were to get my fingers in that, it probably would not stop. It would just keep chewing. So you do have to respect this when you get one of these running. Maybe put a small guard over it to protect your fingers from getting chopped off. There's quite a bit of torque there. And that this is only at maybe 10 volts. If you run this at 24, uh, it again, it would be unstoppable. So that's a spur gear setup. I'll pull that off and we'll go to a helical gear.